He took shit, he's gonna get knocked out, simple as that. Fuck him. I'm fighting Dennis the Menace. <laughs> Rain, snow, tsunami, don't matter. Team Adia here to the very end. Yeah, I did see him say in the vlog that he wanted to take my belt and he'll see me walking out of both on my shoulders, so it's like what? I'll do my talking in the ring. They're not going to get punched in the face tonight, but they're going to feel it in the lungs, believe me. We are here, week eight of Fight Camp. There's only a couple weeks left until fight night. These guys are hungry for the win. I don't know what's going on with Team Corey. Look, all jokes aside, I know they're working hard, but my guys are putting in this graph every session. Honestly, I could talk about every single one of them. When we first started the camp, we were upstairs in the studio. More confined, not as intense, but still hard. Guys were struggling there, and I thought, they got a fight in 10 weeks time, how are they gonna do this? Honestly though, they are putting in that graph now. They want to win more than anything. They're just putting in this graph, and I've said to every single one of them, the second your fight is done, go do whatever you want. But for now, these few weeks, please, please, please just focus and all of them done. They're all showing up, they all wanna win. They're gonna be at the biggest building in Dubai, putting on a spectacle, and Team Addy is gonna win every single fight. Trust me on that. My name is Kazimir, uh, I'm 21 years young. I was born and grew up in Germany, Berlin. I work for uh, House & House Real Estate. Uh, it's been a pleasure, obviously. We actually have three fighters that are obviously fighting on Fight Night 4. Obviously, there is a big sponsorship. There is also some expectation from their side, obviously. So uh, I'm obviously trying to match those as well. Um, but besides that, I'm very, very happy with, uh, with the support I'm getting right now from House & House Real Estate. And uh, I'll do everything what I can to smash my opponent. I'm fighting Dennis the Menace. <laughs> I've had the pleasure to meet him, I'd say once or twice for not more than two minutes. I remember giving him some good body shots at Body Spar at like the second session. Uh, so I hope he remembers those as well. I've seen him doing some over hours as well. Obviously I'm putting in those as well, so that's probably why he does it. But besides that, I wish him obviously all the luck, but I hope he's not the too bad of a loser. Who do you want to win? Do you want the people from House and House to win? Or do you want the guys and girls from oh, Team Paddy to win. That's actually a very hefty one because L, who is actually my sparring partner here in the team, is actually fighting Darak, who is at house and house and actually also my friend. So I mean, house and house or Team Hadi? Team Hadi, I can't lie. Team Hadi, I can't <laughs> lie. <laughs> sorry Tom, sorry Tom. <laughs> from Kyrgyzstan, I am a mobile barber. I do mobile barber and I'm traveling to the client's house and I do cut the hair. I have been in uh, Only Comes Fight Night in last year and have the big difference and in this year have with Sean High Rocks and I really love it. It's killing it and I love this kind of workout where it's like it's uh, until die. Now I do know whom I'm fighting in the beginning like I was like really surprised uh, how I find out uh, who is my opponent when I saw my ex-opponent in toilet and it was really um, surprised me about uh, that I'm fighting Irish girl like uh, my previous opponent and friend of my ex-opponent so let's see it's, uh, how it's gonna be. I want to say to Nikki uh, to work hard because uh, she has a tough opponent. So the guys tonight, they're going through the High Rocks simulation. They're going through the first five rounds of the High Rocks race as set in sequential order. All the standards are going to be taken from the competition, so they're going to get the first real feel of how it feels like to go through the first five rounds. It's not going to be easy. It's warm tonight as well, so you've got that added humidity and that extra heat. They're going to have to really, really fight against that. I think that transfers well into boxing. They're not going to get punched in the face tonight, but they're going to feel it in the lungs, believe me. Progress from now, from week one to week eight, has been huge. Even just looking at the, the lads taking the shirt off and like around the face, you can just see the changes that the body's gone through. A lot of these guys were completely deconditioned. Just shows they're putting it in, they're turning up, they're making it here, and they're putting in the work. Go, 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 go
Come on, son. Come on, lad. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go. 40, 30. Come on, don't give up. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Son. 345, it's fucking good, like, to be fair. <laughs> Okay guys, all finished, everyone got through it, amazing job, fantastic efforts again. This is the first time we've actually put them through a structured high rock simulation. It finds people out, it's not easy to do, there's no rest, there's no hiding place, it's just you. And you've got to complete it as fast as possible, so some really good scores on the board. Let's see what Team Hardy can do when they go through it on Thursday. Okay, so today we are going through the high rock simulation, the first five rounds. We did it with Team Cory. Now it's Team Hardy taking the floor. The guys are well up against it tonight. It's humid, it's hot, the sweat's dripping off them. It's round two for some of them and they're already falling to pieces. So it's going to be interesting to see how they get out. Rain, snow, tsunami, it don't matter. Team Addy are here to the very end. Yo, what's up, everyone? Sohel Var here, pro footballer and influencer, building a pro football club here in Dubai. The reason I joined Only Comms Fight Night 4, guys, it's easy. The first ever boxing event at the Burj Khalifa and Only Comms, they put on the best possible sports events. I play professional football, but I've never done anything combat sports in my life. Most difficult part about camp, I think, is just the consistency of the training and the different training sessions. And then I also have football, so I'm training three, four times a week, balancing that with boxing. It's a challenge, but we're gonna keep at it and get that win. Most enjoyable part of camp is definitely the sparring. Like, I love getting in here on Thursdays and Saturdays, getting rounds in against different people. And then also just the camp environment, coming out here, Team Corey, Everybody's positive, everybody's pushing themselves. So I'm fighting Sharaf Sharaf. They call him double S. I call him Giraffe. Because on April 26th, if he doesn't keep that chin tuck, he's gonna get knocked out. Jack just told me he's been posting stories. I haven't seen anything. He's nowhere to be seen. But my message to Sharaf Sharaf, or again I call him Giraffe, is keep training every single day. Because if not, April 26th, it's a round one stoppage. My name's Ross, I'm from Better Homes. I fought in the last one at W, and I got called up with four weeks notice to fight again because someone dropped out. And now we're here again, tough training session with the lads and ladies on a Saturday morning, but great session. Feeling good, you know, I actually feel probably fitter now than I was in the last fight, which is mad because I've had to play catch up. I only had four weeks training, so I feel good, ready to go. Can't wait to fight, I know what to expect. Easy. So yeah, I do know who, I don't know him at all to fair, but like I say, look, Stepping in the ring is a huge thing. I know what I need to do, I know what I will do. Like I say, I've only had a four week training camp, so it should be light work for me. Yeah, I did see him saying the vlog that he wanted to take my belt. He's wearing a, a belt and I want that belt. For the belt for what, since September, now it's going nowhere. I'm just gonna double it up and you'll see me walking out of both of them on my shoulders, so light work. <laughs> Hey, my name's Dennis. I work for Aventus uh, in recruitment. Just had a tough session here this morning with the lads training hard. Yeah, so obviously now we're in week eight. Um, I don't think I've ever been fitter in my life. It's been quite an experience. I, I didn't know quite what to expect, but it's been great, great fun. Just looking forward to the fight night now. Yeah, yeah, I know I'm fighting Cass. Big guy, it's gonna be a bit of fun. Looking forward to the fight. I just hope he's ready. I'll do my talking in the ring. Hi, my name's Rory and uh, I work in real estate here in Dubai. Oh my God, every single one of us has, has improved and it's great to see. Me, myself, I think I've lost seven kg since 
eight weeks and I've never been so fit in my life. I'm feeling stronger, sharper, and as it gets close to the fight, I'm really excited. I know who my opponent is. Uh, I believe he fought and he won in the last event, but I'm not too bothered about that. I'm just focusing on training, putting in the rounds, and seeing what happens on the night. <laughs> I'm Elliot Shepherd. I'm from South London and I work for M&M Real Estate. Uh, I've been boxing for about five, six years and two fights in the UK. Second win pending. Camp's been fine. I mean, I stay ready all year round, so I don't need to get ready. I was boxing before. Farron said to me, do I want to fight? Makes perfect sense. Burj Khalifa, Armani Hotel. It's a no-brainer. I've got nothing to say to my opponent. He talks shit. He's going to get knocked out. Simple as that. F him.